Hi everybody, this is what we're making today. How fun is this? This is a little heart. Well, this is actually a big heart here. But we're going to make these little hearts that, that you can put a message in. Or you can put um, a quarter. Or a dime. Here you can fit a dime in this one. See the dime in there? That's made with one of these little Monopoly monies. And then I have these these flyers, these uh, crit, these witnessing papers that are the size of almost the same size as an actual dollar bill that I can make these kind with, and they fit a quarter. See, this one is one of them, and it looks like real money, but I can fit a quarter in there. Or if I want to, I can even take and and pop a circle pop out a circle with my cutter and I can this is the size of a quarter and I'll put it in there but on the back I'll put a, a scripture or um, reference where somebody can look up a scripture which is kind of fun you know but these are just cute little things and they're fun for the kids to do they're fun for the kids to play with and and it's fun for the kids to give them to their friends and it it's nice for gifts if at Christmas time if you're making a gift and you want to give someone twenty dollars you could make up one of these twenty dollars and put a little quarter in there or you can put a little message in there saying I love you but these are just awesome little things but anyway let's get started here we're gonna start with the with the bigger ones because they're it's easier well actually we'll probably only make the bigger ones because uh, the bigger ones are a lot easier to make. Anyway, what we're going to do is we turn these over and we just put this fold right like that. All I did was fold the corner of the, the dollar down. Just pretend this is real money. Same. You don't have to go by certain places to put it on this because it all works up the same. Then you're doing it the opposite direction. And after you do it in the opposite direction, you've got a big X in the middle. Then what you're going to do is you're going to want to fold this this top line down to where these folds meet, which will be right in the center. The center will be your fold. It's almost easier to match up that center before you fold it down. Then get a good crease in there. Open it up. Now you're going to go over the other side and do the same thing. Fold it down. One corner to the other. I mean one corner to the bottom. Open it up. Fold that other corner like you're making a big X. Open it up. Now you're going to fold this, this center one down. Meet the center and match those places where the fold ended. Make sure it lines up with the sides of your dollar. Open it up. Now what you're going to do, this is, this is pretty easy, but um, it just looks hard sometimes. If you turn the dollar over and fold the half marks back down like this, it'll be easier to do this next move and then open it back up. That'll make it easier. Because what you're going to do is you're going to uh, grab this part of the dollar right here and fold it up and just sit it down on the, the dollar. Then you're going to take this side and fold it into the dollar. You know what? I am going to bring the ca the camera closer to me so you can actually see what's going on here. Okay, let's do your good this time. Okay, what I'm doing 
is I'm taking right here, right in the side of the dollar, right where all of our bins are. See how you've got a big, like, star bend in there? I'm taking this center part right here, and I'm folding that just flat down on the paper. Just flat down, just like that. Then I'm going the other side, and I'm going to make this side lay down flat on the paper. Now you've got that little top piece still there. Let me see, show you what it looks like on the other side. It looks like that. Now you're just going to flatten that out. Just flatten that right out. Now you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. You're going to pull this, pull this side down. Then you're going to pull this side down. And then see how you have that big round place there? Then you're going to push that flat. That's all there was to that. that see how? That's where you should be right now. Now... We're going to take this corner here, let me pick that up so you can see it. This is the way it should look right now. You see, we have just like that, see that? And then see this side? That's the way you should look right now. Now we're going to take this corner, oops, now we're going to take this corner and we're going to lay it right down to that corner. Just like this. And put a crease. I want that going straight up against the wall there. I want it laying against this area. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Here's another loose one. See how that's loose? Now that one's going to go up also and go straight up there just like the other one. And we're going to come down here and crease this really good. Now let's go the other side. We're doing the same thing on the other side. We're going to lift this up. See that? That's that loose piece. Straight up to the top. It probably won't go all the way up to the top, but that's okay. This side. Same thing. Up to the top. Match the other one. Now you notice it's not perfect. I, I don't have it perfect, but it works for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see this line right here. Let me show you with my little pointer. This line right here, I'm going to fold straight back and I'm going to crease it really good. like that. I'm going to pull it back up. See? I've got a nice crease in there. Now we're going to do the same thing on this other side. Just going to fold it straight back and put a crease. It's going to be kind of a guideline for us. See? Now that one I didn't fold quite far enough back, but it'll it'll do. Now we're going to open it up. We're going to open both sides up. See? Just like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this here and I'm going to open it. Let me show you. It's hard to see. Okay. Here we are. Here's those top pieces that you just did. See those two top pieces you did? Now, if you push right here, well, if you kind of open up the, open it up a little like that, then you can push it down and let it turn into a square. See? turns right into a square. All you did, it was like that, and all you did was pull it up and open up the center. 
you opened up the center and you squashed it down into a square, the little square there. I want you to do the same thing with all the sides. I'll do it with you. You open that up. See that little cave? Open it up and squish it down, even with the line right here. You see? You open it up and squish it down to meet this line right here. And try to make it go into a square if you can. Just like that. Now let's do that to the other side too. Just so we keep it all even going all at the same time. Here's the other side. Remember what we do? We see how it's got an opening right there? We open it up. See? We open it up, and when we push push down on this, when we push down on it right there, it's going to turn into a square. See there? There's your little square. Now you're going to do the same thing to this side. Push down, and it's turning into a square. Mark, leave it right on that line. Squash it down good. Okay, now this is what you've got so far. You've got two squares there. Now we're going to do some folding again. Now we are going to fold this side and this side. What we're going to do is we're going to fold this, this line right here, is going to lay down on this line. This line is laying down on this line. I'm going to try to show you one while, while it's up high, close to you. See there? And then the other side over here is going to meet right in the middle. It's going to be done the same way. We do not want them to overlap. How's that? You see what I've done? All I did was I took out of that little square. All I did with that little square. My camera looks blurry. All I did was fold that side up like that and that side up like that on that little square. That's all I did. And then you're going to open the little pocket like we did on the big one. See there, that little pocket? Now we're going to open that pocket and squash it down the same as we did those little squares. See how I just squashed that down? Right there. Now watch, I'll do it again so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to open the pocket right here. See that little pocket right there? See? Now I'm pushing down on it and it's opening it. And I just push it down to where it has a to where it's a new fold. Now what that new fold did is it made the little piece that it's going to be holding onto the quarter. See there's your little holding part right there. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do the same with this next one. I'm bending this side up to that middle crease. Then I'm going to bend this side up to the middle crease. 
Well, I didn't do that one very good. Let me try it again. Kind of want a point on it. Okay, that side's bent up. But that's not showing very well. Put my hand up to it. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, now I'm going to bend the other side up. Maybe if I had a different color paper, I might do this in a different color paper and show you so that you can get a clearer picture of what's going on here. Now, I just folded up the other side just now, right there. See, they were both down like this. And I just folded this one up, and then I folded this one up to meet it right there like that. Now I'm going to come over and do the same thing I did with these by taking my uh, little tool. I'm going to open up that little that little pocket. See that little pocket there? Then I'm going to push down on it. After you open it up, all you got to do is push down on it. See what I mean? And it makes that design. Now you got one right next to it that I'm, I've got to open that one up. The pocket is right in the center of it because of the way you folded it. You made the pocket. There's the pocket. See right there? Now I'm going to take my finger and just squash down on the top. And if I do it the right way, it'll come out nice. That's fine. See how it is now? Now you've got four of those little pockets open. One, two, three, four. Let's scoop back so you can see that better. One, two, three, four. Now we got to go over the other side and do it on the other side. Switch it over like this. And see your little squares? You're going to be folding those in. at an upward direction there's one right here I just folded this part in that's all I did I folded that part in then I'm going to fold the other part to meet it Just like that. Now I'm going to do the other one over here. I'm going to bend it up just so you get used to seeing the way I'm folding this in a row. Got that one right there. Now I got to get this side to fold in. See there? Now it looks like I've only got two because of the way it's folded. But now I've got to open all four little pockets and lay them flat. And then you're almost done. Now opening up the pockets. There's one. Let me show you that. There's one pocket. There's the second pocket. I'm kind of creasing it as I go. Now I'm pushing down on the top. That made that pocket. Now here's the next pocket. And I'm going to squash it down. And then there's one more pocket left, and that's the one right up here. I'm going to try to do that in front of the camera. You know, it's kind of, it really surprises me that my camera looks a little bit on the blurry side. Um, maybe it's just the lighting today. I'm doing it at night instead of doing it during the day. Now there's the pocket. See there? 
Now all I've got to do is push down on this. See how see how it pops? Let me scoot back. See how it pops open? Now that's done there. Now I've got four on this side. I've got four on this side. Now I want you to see how I'm doing this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this line right here fold up to this line right here so that these both match. I'm going to move it up like this. The paper's going to bend a little bit in here toward the back. And I'm just moving that right up and just kissing right up against the other one. Then I'm going to squash it down because I want that I want this line right here in the back to be squashed down. See there? See? Now they're all up against each other. Now open that back up. See see how that is? All I did was fold that. Another way you can do it that might be easier for you is if you just fold from tip to tip, just like that, and then just fold one side back so that it meets in the middle, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is see how we've got these long ends we're, we're going at the open edge at these long ends either side whichever side you choose we're gonna fold we're gonna put our finger in the back of these heart shapes and fold it backwards just like that then we're gonna crease it or I'll, you don't really crease it because the paper is just laying flat now the, it's just laying, you just made it lay flat. It was up like this, and then you just bent it down just to meet the bottom. Just to meet the bottom. You had it up like this, and then it meted the bottom. It was up like this. Let me show you from this side. It was up like this, and then you just folded it down to the bottom to meet this end. One end met the other. That's all you did there. Now, what we need to do is get rid of these ends here. These little ends that are hanging over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it down like this and put a good crease in it. See, I just put a real good crease in that going down so that it doesn't show in my in my heart. Now I'm going to pull it back up. See that little pocket there? Now I'm just going to fold it over and tuck it right into that pocket. See there? I tucked it in that pocket. Now I don't have to look at it and it looks clean. The last thing you need to do on this, because it looks like it's almost done here, the last thing you need to do is bend these back just a little bit. So you're going to turn it around to the back, just like this. Lay it down, and just bend this tip up just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. It just gives it a better heart shape. And you're just going to face it toward the line. Have the, have the point of the fold over meet the line that's there. I'll show you that. See the, the little diamond? It's pointing down at the line that's in the paper. Now if you turn that over, now it looks like a heart. Now all it needs is a quarter. Or one of these. I prefer a quarter. You know I remember way back we used to use a, four, a quarter for a phone call and this would have been a real handy thing to find if you needed to make a phone call. Provided you had no money. 
a lot of the kids went to the beach and it was nice if they found a quarter a quarter meant a lot more was worth a lot more back when I was young but there you go now you've got one with a quarter can you see that and you've got one with a dime aren't those way cool and those are just flyers oh excuse me <coughs> Those are just uh, little little Christian flyers, you know, because there's there's different ones. You got a hundred thousand dollars. You got uh, I think that's a million. I'm not sure. I I, I don't I don't know money. <laughs> it's in that big of figures. But I've never handled it. And then it's got a uh, Christian write up on the back, you know, uh, a salvation note. Same with this one and has a salvation note. I do like working with this one because it looks more like a dollar on the back. I mean, it looks more like a bill on the back. Now, I am going to show you with this paper just so I can do it a little bigger. So I'm going to have to put it up a camera up higher. But just so I can do it a little bigger for you, I think it'll help you. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I fold this side down and I just made that. Then I'm going to fold this side down. Let me go the other way so you can see that white paper. Now I'm going to go the other way. Remember when I did this? Now you've done all this stuff. If you don't remember this stuff already, you need to go back to the first time. So there's that one. Now we pull it up and we've got that cross in the middle. Now we're going to fold it down to that center point and to those where the line stops to your cross. There you go. See, now you got all your, your work in there. Now, I'm going to go from one side to the other this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see how that, that, that side's coming up like that. I'm just going to fold that down like that. Then I'm going to come over this other side and I'm going to fold it down like that. Now look look how it's, it's talking to you. Hi there. And now I'm uh, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to push this down. That's all there was to that simple right now I'm gonna pull this corner up to the top point one point to the other just like that one point to the other it is a little easier to see with this big paper huh now now you've got your two points straight up now you're gonna bring these to the middle these points go to the middle and don't pass the paper, just go right to the to the edge of your fold. Now I like to use something to fold these these edges, tell you the truth, it's real helpful. You can do it however you want to. I don't have the nails for it. It's all your preference. As long as it comes out the same same way. Now, this is the way your paper should look now because I folded those two. <laughs> I'm starting to make something else. I am so sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that fold yet. I, I mean, that's from another video. That was making a snail. <laughs> On this one, we go from this point. <laughs> to opening up this pocket and making a square. See how we push on the back and it turns into a square? There you go. Now we got it back on target. I will not make that mistake again on this tutorial. Now open this pocket and make your other square.
There, you've got your squares on there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this side right here against this. Then you're going to bring this side just to meet the other side. Let me put that down and see if you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring your, your down to me now. I'm going to take this side. I'm going to turn it around so that you can see it even closer. Oop, too close. Okay, I'm going to take this side and I'm going to fold it up like that. See what I did? Now I'm going to take this other side and fold it right against the edge of that side that just went up. just like that. Can you see it? Now I'm going to do the same thing with this side. This is going to fold down that line and then I'm going to have the other side meet it. Right to the line or close to it but not over it. And there we go. Now, remember the pockets? This is going to look kind of cool with this green. Let's start over here with this one. Okay, I just found a pocket. Now I'm going to push that down. Let me turn that around where you can see it. See, I found a pocket. Now I'm going to push that down just like that forming a little triangle on the top and then the green shows. Now the next pocket. I found it. Now I'm going to push it down with my finger and that one is made. Now I'm going to go over to this one And there's another one. Now the last one on this side, right here. See? Now let me get that close to you so you can see it. Does that show a little better? I hope that shows you a little better, the design of each little triangle with the pockets open. Now we're going to go the other side and do the same thing. Remember what we did? We folded this side up. Well, I didn't even get all the way to the edge. It's better if you get all the way to the edge. <laughs> And then I'm going to fold it this way and kind of rip that little tip. There we go. I'm going to fold it in half. And remember what I did next. Remember how I was with this one? If you remember, if you fold this backwards, you'll see that line better when you go to fold in. See what I mean? See how that line just automatically starts coming in when you fold it that way. See what, I, see what I'm saying? It's like an accordion. All you got to do is push those down, and then you push this down right on top of it. Now we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. I'm going to bring this up. And I'm not going to start making a snail this time. And I'm going to bring this side up. I know how to do a lot of origami. That's why I get messed up sometimes. <laughs> this is the first time I did that with this. This one's such an easy origami. 
thing to make. Now I'm making my squares. See? Now we're going to make those little folds that make the last part of it. The last part of the designer part. See how it's coming out? When we do that um, center fold part, I'm going to do it the other way to show you that it could be easier for you to do. Now we're going to open up those little pockets, all the pockets that we have in these. And then we're done with the design part. Okay, here's one pocket. Right there. I'm going to push that open. Now I'm going to get the next one. And I'm going to push it open. It's an easy thing to do once you get used to it. It's just you got to get the little the little things in your head, the little folds. I've got these tricky little folds that are just pretty awesome actually. I wish I had done this part. I wish I hadn't ripped that part right there. Now if you'll take this, this is that other way I was going to tell you to do it. Now if you take this whole thing and lay it from one tip to the other, put those tips together just like that and then fold this other side. That'll make you ready for getting those things sitting together. Now you can bend one out. All you're going to do, this is the easier way to do it. Now all you're going to do is you're going to bend one out, and they're already meeting when you bend that one out. That's a much easier way to do it. I've never done it that way, but it ends up being a pretty easy way to do it. Now you're going to take one of these sides, whichever side you choose, and you're going to bend it just straight down. Just like that. Like that. And then you remember what we do with this. We bend it backwards, just like that, and fold that edge down. Then we open it up, we open the fold, and we tuck it in that fold and close it. See? Now that's taken care of. Now the only thing you have left are these points. Now fold the point to meet that center line. The point should meet there. And there you go. Voila. Now if you well, let me see. Do I have any circles? I don't know if I need any circles for that. I don't have any circles that big. Well, I'll just take one of these little ones. No, that won't fit. <laughs> I will make a circle to fit in there. Just so that... I, mean, I need to make it a different color, though. Well, I don't have anything over here. Well, I'll just make it out of, oh, here's a yellow one. Here's one of my sticky notes. I'm just going to make a, a circle out of one of these sticky notes after I cut off this sticky part. I 
Let me see if this works. I don't know if it will, but I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm always up for trying something new. Well, let's open that up and see if it fits. It ain't hurt. Oh no, that's way too big, isn't it? Yeah, that's way too big. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut a little bit more off this and then we'll try again. I just want you to see Now you can write a cute little note on this. After you write your cute little note on it on the back side, right here, you just stick it up under these little feet here. Oh, I still made it a little too big, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to push that down in there. And there you go. Voila! Now probably a dollar or a half dollar would probably fit in that circle with it being this big. But you're going to be making them with bills so um, or tracks. So you won't need one that size. Anyway, that's that's all there is to it, but and and they all come out just so way cool, and I like the way the shimmery paper looks. That's just down at Walmart. You can get a big pack of the shimmery stuff, and and this is cut out with the one inch punch. And um, I have it. I think it's the one inch punch that punched this out. And if you want the dime size, that would be a half inch punch. And it just, you punch them out, put your little cutie thing in there. I could, like I put uh, God is Awesome on there. Well, it's backwards, but that's what it says if it was forward. Um, and you put them in there and you've got that little message for somebody. Or you can actually put a quarter in there with you sending. See, this one already has um, um, salvation note in it. So it would be kind of nice if you actually put a quarter in there for these. You know, because then people don't think that you're tricking them because you've actually got a quarter there. So that's kind of nice. You know, give them a little something. It, it's not a big deal. God will give it back. And then uh, these these are the ones you got. These are just, like, way cool. Now, on this one, I'd put a note, because that's not a track. I mean, if you want to use it for that purpose. But if you want to use it for the kids, just as, like, little rewards when they do something around the house, that's kind of cool, too. You got a bag of these somewhere, and and pull one out when the kids, are, kids get something done. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today, and remember, God is awesome.